Welcome to the UV oxidation stage of the advanced water purification process. This final stage serves two important functions. Firstly, it is the primary method for disinfecting microorganisms such as bacteria, viruses, and protozoa. Secondly, the oxidation function destroys micropollutants and chemical contaminants including nitrosamines, 1,4-dioxane, and a wide variety of suspected endocrine disruptors, if they're present in the water. These objectives are achieved using a dual process of UV photolysis and UV oxidation that takes place within Trojan uv Fox reactors that you see here in front of you. What you are looking at is a network of piped trains where three UV chambers are stacked in each train. Within each UV chamber, you will find 144 ultraviolet lights. UV lights look like a tanning bed lamp, but they are much more intense. Water flows into the bottom chambers, then works its way up through each set of lamps and finally exits outlet pipes at the top of the structure. Before the water enters the chamber, it is dosed with a small amount of hydrogen peroxide, which helps the oxidation process work efficiently on the widest range of contaminants. As the biological and chemical contaminants pass through the UV chamber, they are exposed to and absorb the UV light emitted by the lamps. UV light is extremely powerful. Imagine your worst sunburn and multiply that by a thousand. Once the contaminants have absorbed enough UV light, their chemical bonds break apart and they are no longer harmful. This reaction is called UV photolysis. Not all contaminants easily absorb the UV light. Some stubborn ones require a more aggressive approach. This is where the hydrogen peroxide comes in. When hydrogen peroxide is added to the water, the UV light hits the water. Hydroxyl radicals are formed. These hydroxyl radicals are highly unstable and do not like being in the water for very long. So they find the first chemical they can and steal electrons from it. After losing enough electrons, the contaminant can no longer hold itself together and it breaks apart through this process called oxidation. What's next? Now that the water has been stripped of chemical contaminants and harmful microbes have also been inactivated, the water is post-treated to make sure the pH is at the right level and then can safely be returned to the environment for future use. The UV oxidation system installed at the Groundwater Replenishment System is the largest of its kind in the world.